Welcome back everybody to uh, Farming Simulator 19 on Spectacle Island. It's a nasty day, but we're going to make the best of it. We're going to make the best of it. We've been doing contracts left and right. Or right. Well, I mean the, the crew's been doing contracts. Let's put, whoa, got to unstrap them. We've been doing contracts, running back and forth. And uh, we bought a little something to help us do contracts, but uh, we're also leasing something to help us do contracts. Um, let me get this unloaded. Uh, I'll show you. But uh, folks, it's your host with the, not the most, or oh, Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. Folks, how y'all doing today? Y'all doing all right? All my farmers out there doing all right? My factory workers, my non-workers and everybody else, just anybody in general. I hope all y'all doing okay. Because it's going to be a great day. Because look at our balance. Oh, oh, that was completely. 168, 368. Huh? 168, 368. Hey, it rhymes. I guess. But uh, bakery was twelve thousand four fifty eight. Transport company was twenty thousand one one one. So we're gonna cut them, and we're gonna go over to here. Um, in case y'all know it, one a couple of I don't know it was last episode or one before that. Well, probably a couple of episodes ago, we had to plant some trees. We planted three hundred, but we cut down six eighty nine. Missions completed is 60. Completed tran <clears throat> excuse me. Completed transport missions is 105. So there's 165 uh, missions or contracts that we've done. Oh, and look at the time we played. Oof. But anyway, our our money is up to 200,938. If I can get it, we can see it right there. And I'm running five times forward, and as you can see, it's raining. Let's go in here. We're in the harvest stage, but nothing's ready yet. It, it looks like it's ready, but it's not. Um, as you can see, it's going to be raining to 3 o'clock. Uh, Wednesday looks good. Sun comes out in the evening. Thursday, Friday, Saturday is good. Sunday, Monday, it looks like it's going to be raining. So we're just going to have to see how it is. Uh, pigs, we still got four. Uh, been feeding them and stuff. I did get some straw for them. I'll tell you about that here in a minute. You can see the sheeps are at 65. Uh, chicken enclosures, uh, or chickens is at 43. I think we had three. I know I bought, I had 40 and I bought a rooster. Let's, let's check into that real quick. Get over here and use my arrow keys to go down on this. Um, mature, a little over half a year, not fertile, next animal in 0, 0.0 years, so we are getting some that's showing, maybe we'll have some more, 0 0.10, okay, we might be getting some chickens soon, I do think we got two, not for sure, alright, our gold production is 125, 550. We're going to be doing that today, too. Uh, the cows need to be clean. Park this thing out of the way. Let's see if there's any more contracts first. Other transport. Observatory to transport. I'm going to do it, folks, because we're going to have to need... We're going to need some money here real quick. Uh, observatory. I'm going to go here. I'll look it up. I got it routed. Put it in. I hit the drive button. I do tend to watch to see which way he's going to go. It looks like he's going to go the right way. Sometimes he'll go up to the barge area, turn around, come back down. And I, I don't really want that. So, I do have some bad news. Um, well, let's go with the good news right now. As you can see, that is a thousand liters. And that's 171, so this bar here is ready to be sold. But guess what, folks? 
um, let's go in here to go prices real quick before I do anything else. I don't want to scroll down. I want to scroll across. All right, gold. Gold prices is down eight thousand nine twenty four. I'm gonna let that go up. But uh, I also want to show y'all something. Look at here. Look at all these gold bars I've been getting. Now I do want to apologize. I did cheat. I went in the XML file, folks. And you probably saw that right go. Why is he at four animals in gold in gold production when uh when I they wrote up as animals, folks. But um we did have ten. One of them died. So I ended up selling like the rest of them and only kept four. This seems about right for its production. It is still kind of fast as you can tell here. You got four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-two gold bars, folks. At eight thousand a piece right now. Y'all do the math on that. But I'm gonna let this the price get back up before we sell it. And I'm gonna let the propane run out and then I'm gonna convert this back down to one. Because we're just making way too money on gold right now. <laughs> but, but we need the money. Alright, let me find my, my truck. Alright, I just had our tractor drop us off. Here's our potatoes. As you can see. They're still growing. If you can look down there in that bottom right corner. It says growing. And just like uh, our corn right here. It's looking good. Still growing. I see some cobs coming up. You see, you see a cob right there on the stalk. So yeah, um, but let's go to the the other good news. Y'all gonna see this? I don't know what that is. I just bought it from this company. I might have to change that somehow. I don't know. Uh, but this truck here costs a lot of money. I bought the bed from this company. I'm sorry, I bought the bed from this company. And I'm leasing this truck from this company, but they will sell it to me. Let's go in here real quick and I'll show you. Here's the truck, and this is the one that we got right here. It's just a, a flatbed that you can put a trailer on. And you see they're wanting 319000 uh, Let's see, this truck here. This truck is a hook lift, as you can see right there, the hook lift in the center of the truck. So we're actually going to get this, and but he's wanting three hundred nineteen thousand five hundred for it. The truck's worth it. It runs great. Let's go over here and look at this, and you can get a uh, yeah, that's going to be a fuel trailer, milk, water. You can get a hook lift for the truck that we're leasing right now, and this is the bed I got. It's an auto load bed. I guess it's just some kind of container. Maybe you can put pallets and stuff but here's a bell i believe the bell is auto load also and uh this here will as you can see down there will hold i don't know what the green and yellow bottle is but water slurry and digestate and this is a trailer that has the hook lift or you can get the other trailer that has the hook lift it's i think longer ones but anyway i just want to show you all this i like the inside it's clean Got a sleeper in the back, sunroof, radio sounds good. Fire this bad boy up. Got the laptop over so we can keep up with our loads and stuff. I don't really like the things hanging down up there, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. We're going to keep the thing off of this because I got 0 0.7 hours on it. And we are leasing it, so I'm keeping the motor off as much as possible. Alright, this is kind of a mess I, I hate, and it seems like the water's rising a little bit. Oh, this is getting sketchy, but what, what's this, folks? This is our bad news right here. You can see it right there. Our truck has run off into the low spot there and drowned it out. Don't think the motor's... I'm going to get Christy to drive his truck on to the bakery. No sense of sitting there running. No, I'll explain this. I got my waders on. But yeah, um, this truck's grounded out. Uh, they said the motor's shot, 
and they wasn't in no hurry to come get it. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and have the tow truck driver take it to the tugboat. And we're going to, I, I got a guy that's, that says he's wanting to buy it. So we're going to sell it to him if he wants it. And, um, yeah. I don't know if you noticed in the other episodes, but I did uh, have some dirt brought here. Um, they kind of left ridge on each side, looks like, but it might be all right. Um, way to worry is, I think we need to come back here somewhere and give it about this height right here across here, across there. It's going to be a lot of packing and stuff, and uh, the thing about putting the bridge in so the water can still go through from this side to that side. And uh, if we can raise it that tall. Oh, there goes the bird. Helicopter. I think it might be the National Guard. They run a, a lot across here. They don't tell them what they're doing, though. But anyway, I just uh, want to show you the crops, too. You can see right here. This is what I was talking about when a combine comes in. They want to catch the right rows. They know the planter came out to here so that way would be 12 rows uh, from this stalk this row here back would be 12 rows and that's how they uh, find their right rows to get on so there won't be no odd rows um, I haven't showed you the um, Chrissy is supposed to be coming to the bakery there's the bakery I don't know where she Ain't no telling. Uh, that's it. Our potatoes here. And here's our soybeans. They are looking good. They're looking real good. Um, one other thing, I'm going to go check on the tree. Oh, there she is. She must have missed her road. All right, let's go check on our uh, trees real quick. All right, guy, looked like he made it to the transport. I think it was Dan, that other one. Um, our grass here needs to be fertilized where it looks. Got to do that when it stops raining. And I don't see. I don't look like. Of course, I know they ain't going to grow very much because it's we're running seasons. It's always nice to come look at them to make sure they're doing right. All right, this is what I want to show you. You know, I would really like to buy this truck. Leasing will be costing some money. Um, go in here real quick to this and go back to our truck, Volvo, to this in here. You can see $16,000, um, operating hours, $6,709 per day. You get charged an extra 3000 So, yeah, it will be cheaper leasing it, but if we're going to keep doing, I think this thing will do all the, uh, all the pallets uh, right there third one up on the on your left side there that block here it says z and it says mission pallets egg boxes cotton modules pallets square bells round bells missing uh, mi mission pallets so we can do all that with this we just hit u to put it in load mode pull up here it loads them up and then we hit U again just take the auto load off in case you drive by like I did right ago and I picked up the other guy's pallets because they're still in load mode then we hit B and you see that gray grid down there we can put it to the left to the back and to the right or on the trailer and unload and you just hit Y and you see how it dropped them now we can put straps on, which straps are on. But we're just going to hit U again, and then hit U one more time, and that would uh, take you off unload. So we're going to get rid of, not get rid, but we're going to go deliver these. I think it was pork side cat. Yep. Pork, not fork. Um, oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Let's go pork side. I wish I had some pork chops. All right, there's Sunkaboo. We got the skid steer in here. 
uh, I got some straw out of the pipe and gave it to the cows and the pigs. So that's why they had uh, straw. But yeah, this is that's why I wish I kind of had two because these here I have to do by hand and my hands and my back and my legs are getting tired folks you know that's why I want to get that uh, the truck that we got right now just go ahead and buy it so we won't be leasing it so it'll have some kind of resale value if we ever wanted to get rid of it or something which I doubt we would we'll probably run that thing to the ground doing all these contracts been doing a lot of um, so far, running seasons and position farming um, is basically this being transport contracts. Uh, when we get and uh, you know where we're harvesting and stuff, it'll probably be some of those. And I did have some fertilized missions there for a while, but now now it's just been transport contracts. So. Alright, he's uh we got this guy ready. I wanna <clears throat> let's go ahead and finalize that. Um come in here and show y'all on our ground. We got more weeds of spray. But I'm scared to do it now because it's muddy and when you get off road it will sink down. So it might destroy some crops, I don't know. Um Oh, while well, I'm at it. While well, I'm at it, we're gonna sell this guy here. I'm gonna get on my tablet. And, oh, wrong tablet. Go in the store, garage, and push and get to see some of the stuff we got to. And it should, oh, right here. Uh, the Quad Pro Baylor 4. We're going to sell it. Uh, it stacks them in fours, which is good, but a lot of times it falls over and stuff, and you got to re stab them. So we're going to go ahead and sell it for 27884 folks. And now. Oh, they came and got it fast. Now I just want to go in here real quick and, you know, our next, <clears throat> our next step is going to be harvesting. We got two fields of wheat to harvest and basically two fields of potatoes to harvest. So go in here. No, I'm going to go over and then go in potatoes. Um, one of these uh, conveyor belts are on that way to load your trailers. The harvester digs. The harvester here is really wide, but I think it just puts them in a row. Yeah, you got, you got left, right discharge, and I think after that we gotta use this bad boy, which I don't know if it's got in collection or not. We'll probably have Maybe hire a worker and then have a truck go along the side of them or a trailer or something. But that's what we're looking at. Um, probably have to have us topper too. So I don't know where we'll lease the equipment, but we won't have it very long. I, th I think we're just going to lease it. And then we need a combine. So, but anyway, yeah, here we go. I'm going to start the truck back up. So we're going to hit B put the the grid over here on this side and I'm just going to back up next to these tables here and then I'm going to hit Y and transport finish folks ain't that so easy it's convenient and this thing will load bales too and we're going to get a uh, trailer for it get all the connections and everything so yeah, I'm seriously thinking about buying this truck, but we don't have the money right now. Probably would here in a, in a day or two, because yeah, look what we're up to. 262.925. And the loan is paid off, folks. I paid the loan off. And I want to show you something. Probably the closest one. Sellage will probably be ready. It's 36% fragmenting. I forgot how much is in here. It's like 150000 ish give or take. Maybe a little bit more, a little less. I just want to show you this truck here. That's uh, pretty nice. 
beginning of next year, maybe we'll buy it. Because now we got to buy a combine, tether harvesters, and uh, corn head for the combine stuff. Hopefully we'll get some harvesting contracts and stuff. But folks, I'm going to make this a short video. 22 minutes so far, 23. But yeah, y'all have a... Uh, go down below in the description check out all the other famous youtubers down there folks they help me out a lot and you can go show them some love and they'll help you too by watching their videos uh the support from each and every one of y'all is rock on awesome folks i mean y'all rock it and uh thank you for that thank you for all the support and the love um having said that folks y'all have a great day a blessed day. I'll see you next episode. Bye.